high back again. We stopped. So we make the house beside the office. Three stages and that here. So add mesh cube. Long one, so scale set. Make three parts in, so two loops. Control R, roll the mouse, left mouse button to accept. Two materials, one white, the other material red. Only to see the stages. Good. Then this part, it's such high as two stages. Mm, here you say it, and the last part is then the top. So that must be as high as these two. Looks a little bit great for me. But we will see. Add match cube, scale down. That should be it. Scale and X to make it longer. So the roof of it, you see it here, it's a simple roof, but with the see back, the back view, that here are six counted one, so we built them two, add mesh cylinder, type in six, and we have the six counted one, should be on the back of the tower, such there, back of the house so we make that longer it comes up over the roof you see there and X root scale make it a little bit greater X root again to bring it up scale down on. good we make the roof here so make your middle loop simply and take that edge and bring that up yes and the this part you see sh should be a little bit smaller but it comes to the second part but here smaller in the roof so that means that here must be higher and bigger but not as bright so scale Y then the roof control R make a middle loop get the middle part and get them up Here we'll make the same with your fear color. So we give one of them control R, make a middle loop, scale set zero, and give the down part the red. So we see it better. Here we we'll make the same control R, make three loops in and position each loop on a stage end. Then get both colors. And mark each second one. Good. File, save. Good. Uh, we 
you see here at the back we have this uh, roof window that we must take from another project we done so I think we can get it from this house on the top of the hill so I must have a look file open that house from the hill that we made that was house one maybe I will look yeah there we have it okay so we only need here yeah one of them so shoot D to separate selection delete one of them we don't only need one not two so we can delete that here so we have only one left and control C to copy go in our project and control V to input so we have it there we set the origin to geometry then we can place it on the back side only I think but uh, I must have a look what it said 180 and place it on the back side Let's look where that are positioned beside the tower there so near to the tower back from the street that means that comes here to this side and that one comes near to them okay at the front I must have a look front 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 there I see nothing from that but I see smokers and here on the small part there are these parts too here you see the little part but a round thing comes then in front of them so left and right there comes such two so shift D place in the middle Oh, they should be smaller and the back should be shorter so we take that and simply make it in half then shift D rotate set 180 place it to the other side too good file save um we also need here these side stones and around the windows the stones so we go back to our first project there that was that one here go here back to default so i must look that are singular that is good that here too and the back ones so we have that this we need so we simply catch them and control C copy and bring it to our other project here control V to plug in good now we only need around the windows and the smokers so we get back and get here something for around the windows that was on the second or third layer think that one can work that are singular think on the third there's the complete one yeah 
So we simply copy that Shift D, uh, Shift C, uh, Control C to copy. So then Control V to input. Good. That was that. We only need a smoker and a window. So we look a simple window. That isn't my favorite. So we have to take it from an other project so we can close that here. And open up another one before we save that. So we need one with a smoker and normal windows. So I think we can take this big one with the tower. So file open, we have done them. That was tower one, I think. Yes. So here we have the smoker. So simply control C to copy and control B to plug in. Don't see it in a moment. So yeah, make it again. Control C and Control V. So there we have it. Scale them simply up to see them better. Then we only need a window too. So file save and take a simple window. Think on the second or third layer. Mm, that is a massive one, but many parts in. But I think we haven't no other. So we simply take that. Uh, control C and go in the other project. Control V to plug in. Good. File save. We can close now the other project here with the tower. Now we place this part here on the side. a little bit smaller you see that so simply scale try to fit with the rest good simply shift D two times same we do on each side of the house other sides we don't need it because the um, house later comes on there. Good. File, save. 
the smokers. One big one comes here directly on the tip of them. So we simply have to scale them. Scale set. Scale X. Scale Y. Scale X. Scale set. Good. That should be that front one. This one. And there we have another one to the street. So pick one, two, to the street. So shift D, that means here. take here that one and shift D then rotate set 90 rotate set 180 and plug them in okay file save good we have done that we have to do that here. Add mesh. Uh, cylinder. With 24. Scale them down. the top line and scale down that should be it you see here the spikes down under so we can take here each second one so that means select deselect a uh, random Ah, check it, deselect, so it was. Now it is each second one, and we can simply grab set. Then we have that spike there. Good. Uh, that comes here in front. stuff but it is like it is and it's higher than the original okay but not much higher so we can scale them a little and scale set such like that I think let's move it control R make a loop on the downside to get the shading arrows away and one on top shift D oh alt D to make a copy for the other side good file save now we see two holes on that side and on the back side but it's a little bit different there so that means we need your holes in 
so add mesh cube that should be okay we take shift D another one down there and shift D to the other side too but there we take the one and make the tear we join that together as one say we apply the rotation scale of the object the same we do here with the house itself apply rotation scale then we make a secure copy shift D move it to the second layer we get the name of our katas Q14 we use here the boolean Q14 and say it should be the difference and apply that so we have the holes in we can move that here to the second layer file save as new version number good we should open up that because there are faces in so we take them and X only faces now it is open good file save we have done that okay on the back side are two windows three three and all we make four at all so the back side is here so we have to do here the windows a little bit small all in all but we can't make it other way or we must make them longer I think we can make them longer so we get here this whole house and make it a little longer and bring then the rest here near to Oh, that was wrong but that okay that that one and this one and maybe that one a little so only that to bring near good think that can work better file save um, yeah the front has two doors and three windows so we make them fast that mash cube scale down scale set scale in the hole scale set shift D bring one there that should be a little bit larger so scale but bring it on the same height then shift D two windows beside them and a large door so here we simply take that a little down good make them longer and that longer that should be the front so we join them together as one and say the object should apply the rotation scale we set the origin to geometry so we have here the front here we want to cut in so we give them the reddish color was material something yeah zero one and plug them into scale them down so i think that can work Look 
again. Here's a bright thing. And there's a little space between. That should be okay. Maybe it can be a little bit scaled in the X. But then they must be smaller in the set, so scale set. Yes. Okay, name is cube 19, so we have to apply the rotation scale. Here the same object, apply rotation scale, cube 19, so we bring here the modifier boolean and cube 19 as cutter and say here difference apply so we have the holes in so we can move that here to the side move to the second layer here the same we open up here the holes so x delete only faces so that is open now good file save Whew, so ah, this one here is on the wrong side, it needs to be here. Yeah. So we take that incomplete and rotate set ninety. And rotate set one hundred eighty. So that should be it. But I must have a look. It comes here in the side. Back from this part. Search like that, yeah. A little bit deeper. And a little bit more to the side here. So we can use them here and X delete them because we don't need them there. Good. We have that. File save. Uh, we spoke about the back side. There are four windows. So add mesh cube. Scale down. Uh, scale set. Scale in the hole. That should be it. Shift D, go to the side. And both Shift D, bring them down under. Then we join them all together as one. And object, apply, rotation scale. Same with the house itself. Object, apply, rotation scale. File, save. The name is cube 15, so we take the house, boolean, cube 15, difference, apply. Move them to the second layer, M to move, second layer. Here the back faces, X only faces, so it's open up. Good. File, save. Here on the front comes two windows, two. That was the back windows that we made. And here the front windows. That is one crate one and two single orb ones. So add mesh cube, scale down, scale set. Shift D, make a copy, scale down. Scale set. The difference is too high as perspectivic view. Because of that, that should be longer and stronger. So, scale set. Such like that. Shift D. So, we have them. And bring them here a little to the side. And place them together. Join and apply rotation scale. 
we go to the front. Here is the front, so we bring it in front. And look that we get here good into the object. We see they both needs more space, so we scale them up. That one is maybe okay, but these two guys have to go here more in middle. And I think that can be that one. Yeah. Maybe that can be a little bit bigger. So we take that one here and simply make that a little bit longer and completely a little bit deeper and the same we do here with these two parts we scale them simply up and bring them a little to the side and that here more to that side good we have done that so object apply rotation scale the same with the house again object apply rotation scale and get the number of this is cube 4 so we go here to the house and say boolean cube 4 difference apply move that to the second layer and open up the back faces so x delete only faces so we have now an open house but in the tower we need windows holes to file save and here at the side comes two and a door see it here good so we make three Add mesh cube, scale down, scale set, shift D, scale down, scale set, scale set again, shift D. Okay, we take them, join them together, and bring it on the side of the house. Rotate set 90 and bring it into. So, what we see, we have to scale them and bring them on different stages. So, that one can be there and that one a little bit higher there. That should be it. So object apply rotation scale same with your house. The name is cube sixteen, so we go to the house Boolean cube sixteen and take the difference and apply. Good. Move that to the second layer. Open up the back faces only faces so it's open now nearly complete file save good we have done all that now only the tower itself has two holes there so we look that we cut here two times. So add mesh cube, scale down, scale X, scale set. Good. Rotate set. Good. Shift D, place them down under. Join them together apply rotation scale, same with the tower get the name it's cube 17 the tower and boolean cube 17 
and difference apply. So that holds our in um, to move second layer. Delete the back faces, X delete only faces. Good. Think all holds are in, so we save as new version number. Good. We done that. So we can move here this part to the second layer too. Uh, that here we only need for the windows, but we can take also that one. So we move that here completely to second layer too. And get here this window. And go to the object data and delete the group here. So now it's a normally mesh. And we see here we need a six counted window. So we should all in all delete here some. here this is too much so we can delete here this two X roots then we bring them here more to the middle and then scale the whole window in the set ah we only need here one window of this size okay 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 I got it. So we must delete here all this stuff. X delete and that two. So we can take here the window white color and select so we have directly that part selected and then we simply scale them set that we have only one window there and we bring the stones around so we can select inverse so we have the outer parts selected and scale X so that should be that window we have here some overstanding parts that we don't need so we can delete them with edge deleting and shift D make a copy and get these two windows no four windows on the back side so we go to the back side we rotate set 180 degrees scale them down and bring them in two but in front Good, we have that. So shift D to the other hole and both shift D bring them down too. Good, so that windows are done. Good, file, save. The side windows are different ones only one spike in the middle and the other are black spikes and completely other class. 
but stones around there so that needs three of these spikes there that one should be more in the middle then that one too so that should be it only we have to give them a class later so we bring them to the side that means here rotate set minus 90 scale down bring them there and shift D place it down under there too good we have then done them file save dun 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 <laughs> nice speaking of so um, that one is the same like the one that we built so we can place them on these two places too so shift D that here isn't needed, the middle part isn't there so we can delete that that has no middle part so we have that and Now we can bring here the class back to uh, where is it? Here to the complete side. So that is the window that it is in real. So Shift D bring it down there and Shift D bring it over there and rotate set minus 90 degrees bring it in front and scale them to that size here we have some arrows so we rotate set 180 and simply try to find the scale scale set that should be it. Yeah. So Shift D, place it there. Okay. File save. So the one here, the top ones are the same, and this one the same. So okay. So we place there this Windows two. Shift D, rotate, set, minus 90. No, rotate, set, 180. No, then I don't know. <laughs> no, it's correct. So, um, we bring it into scale Y. And shift D, bring it down there. One, two. Scale X. Scale Y. Good. Done that windows all. But down under here and that one left. <laughs> so, what we have where? this one that is the same but two of them and here two with one only <laughs> okay a little bit complicated but shift D scale them up bring them there 
scale set. Good, so we need two of the windows in there. That means we have to select here all the white stuff again and scale X then make your shift D two of them so we have that only need here the class the class the class the class must be that that should be complete down under good we let that like it is then the down windows are very simple ones in principle there are two spikes there and that was it two spikes okay but without the stones around so we can take here these simple ones shift D with two spikes only and no stones that means we can select here the stone shit or oh, we make it easier the little white color and then we invert that oh and the class we need so and inverse select so we can select each other and that we delete but we don't need that so and now we only need here two we set but in first we will need the size or scale that we come to the size and scale X okay yeah and only two so we can get that one delete them then we get that one bring it in the middle and that one should be bigger so scale set and then bring them there that is the window we copy that shift D one there and one there good on the back side we need this window type here too so shift D bring it to the other side rotate set 180 to turn it and simply bring it into shift D the other one too and that should be it good so we done all holes all windows not the doors and not the texture and incomplete so that we make the next time so thanks a lot for watching see you in the next tutorial bye